Hello, my name is Hamlet Darcy. I'm going to try to demonstrate the OSGI module system uh, in just a few minutes in a, in a short demo. This is the first few minutes of a presentation that will occur down at 2GX, the Groovy and Spring Conference this October 2009, uh, so I hope you enjoy. The first thing I'm going to do is demonstrate the OSGI container. This is just a Java jar that you run, so Java Java dash jar. Uh, it happens to be in my subdirectory here. I'm just going to run it in console mode and show you the container. This is the host that will host OSGI bundles. I uh, just do a system status and show you that the only thing I have installed is the uh, Eclipse Equinox jar file. Uh, the, I'm going to show you a demo application that demonstrates OSGI modules, services, and service lifecycle. So I'm going to install a few things and I'll explain them as we go. I just have a few things to put on my clipboard. Uh, I'm going to install a bundle called Groovy Provider. Uh, this is just some interfaces that I have a few other services that implement. Um, if I do a system status you'll see that now uh, version 1.0 of these interfaces uh, are installed. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do is install an application. Okay. Um, Looks like we have uh, the evaluator installed, uh, and I could start it to start 36. That is the bundle ID that it installed under. Uh, you can see here that I have a uh, eva a frame here that I can enter some Groovy script in uh, and evaluate it. Uh, it is rather small, I understand, uh, but there's no Groovy versions in it yet. There's no Groovy services being offered, so let me just load up. Let me load up the uh, first two here. Uh, let's do version 1.0 and version 0 0.3. Uh, great. I'm going to start uh, the 1.0 bundle. And you'll see that my application now has a 1.0 interpreter available. So I can define a closure and uh, say x equals x times uh, 2. So it just doubles it. Doubler 10 should be 100. Uh, well, I'm sorry, double 10 should be 20. <laughs> yeah, I should have known that. Uh, so let me start also the 0 0.3, start 38. Okay, so now my OSGI application, enabled application, has discovered that Groovy 0 0.3 is also running. Uh, 15 doubled is 30. You can also see that uh, the 0.3 syntax of allowing a bar as a parameter delimiter uh, is also whoops is not supported within Groovy 1.0, but is supported within Groovy 0.3. Now this is two different versions of the same Groovy jar running not only in the same Java process but also the same Java thread. It's executing on the event dispatch thread here. Just for fun, uh, let's install uh, 0.6 or I'm sorry 1.6 and start that bundle. If I do a system status here, uh, it shows me that uh, I have everything I need installed. If I go back to my application, you'll see that all of the Groovy uh, services are installed. Uh, I could execute this against any of them. Uh, I'm going to uninstall uh, the 0 0.3. It's rather old. We don't need it anymore. Uh, and my application uh, has automatically updated itself. So that, in a nutshell, is what OSGI uh, provides. Uh, the, it provides modularity. The services that I installed were self-contained. They can be installed and uninstalled uh, and moved around however you want. Uh, the services that I installed um, were independent from one another. They all had their own class path and they could have their own um, versions of what would normally be conflicting jars. Uh, tied together, and you saw that there's a service life cycle. I was able to start modules, stop modules, uh, and even uninstall modules, and the applications could uh, respond correctly. This application that I wrote, this little um, toy application to demonstrate was about 220 lines of code. Uh, 150 of that was Java Swing, so we're talking OSGI uh, code, aware code would be uh, 70 to 80 lines, no lines of XML. Uh, one last thing uh, to demonstrate is just uh, within the OSGI console, 
uh, there's a whole lot of commands that are available, but you can um, you can also uh, query bundles and see, um, let's see, packages 37, see what packages uh, this one exports. Uh, you can see what its dependencies are. Um, those are declared. Uh, those aren't discovered. So the modules that we created um, will import and export versions of packages. Uh, this isn't something that will happen at runtime, something that will be validated and enforced uh, at load time. Uh, so that's it. That was a very brief overview of OSGI.